How's it going guys? It's another good day in the garage. Last time I put the clutch on with the Intel, put the flywheel clutch, the throw bearing, all that stuff, the transmission's now on there. Pretty much all I'm waiting on now is to put the harness on the engine, put the intake manifold on, any little auxiliary pieces that are in here, and then it's ready to go in the car, which is still not ready. I know, I'm a lazy shit. But today I have very exciting news. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, link is in the description, you would already know that VEMS has joined in on the build and sent me one of their ECUs for the M52 S52. It's a plug and play ECU that'll go right on the harness that you guys watched me build before that I'll probably show pretty soon. But upon receiving this thing, I actually realized just how much time and effort goes into building one of these because you, if you watched my previous build, you saw me working with the Mega Squared and the plug and play system. And just the quality difference between the VEM system and the Mega Squirt is enormous. Looking at these connectors, everything is special, like watertight connectors. Everything is appropriately labeled. There's a, this is a little manifold air pressure measuring system. It has a little connector for expansion. So if you are adding pins or adding inputs or wanted to do something like a uh, like an electronic boost controller, like a solenoid, you can actually add that into the system using these, these output slash input connectors. It has all sorts of other cute little features, some of which I'd never even heard of before. One of these features is it has an exhaust gas temperature probe, which straight up blew my mind when I realized that. It's this guy right here. So you can get a little thermocouple that goes in your exhaust and it'll tell you the temperature of your exhaust gas. And I'm like, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That is so awesome that I'm just tempted to do it. I don't know what the benefit is. I'm sure a tuner could tell me. I'm sure someone who, who knows more than me could tell me. But that's something I'm going to look into. So this thing, here's the, here's the basic setup. Here's all your extra outputs. You got your, your APIN little adapter. You got your uh, built-in wideband. So it comes with a wideband. And it just is, the system is actually built into the ECU, so you're not dealing with a separate wide band and having them communicate. It's all one system. And it's not like you have to go and buy their wide band every time, so you're spending an arm and a leg or anything crazy like that. It's just a standard Bosch sensor that plugs into the harness. So that's one, one pro right there. It comes with a, a plug and play, this one. So this will plug in right into the factory pinout. You don't have to modify anything. You saw me trim out the extra ones, but you don't even have to do that. If you have an E36, this just pops right in. Uh, the guys at Jason at Vems has already preloaded my injectors, my, a good sort of base tune for the S52 based on my compression, things like that, timing. And he's already taken care of all that, so this should just plug in. I'd maybe change a couple settings, make sure, do a couple checks, just like on the Mega Squirt, and then start it up. But just looking at it again, like I was saying, the quality is bar none. Everything fits really well. Everything's labeled. Everything, it's really sturdy. I feel like I could step on this. I'm pretty sure they, they fill this with a, like an expanding urethane or something. So this thing is sturdy as hell, legitimately. There's no flex in any of it. It just connects to your laptop. There's, I think, one or two little modifications to the actual harness. But other than that, this thing is very cool. But enough about that. I want to see what it does. Unfortunately, I can't start it today, but <laughs> I'd like to sort of hook it up and sort of figure it out, lay it out, connect it to the harness, and have another look at it. Cool. Huge shout out to VEMS. Check out their website. Uh, it'll be in the description. Big shout out to Jason for helping me out, talking me through everything that's on it. There's too many features to list, so if you want to know all the features on here, because they have, you know, they can do launch control, boost, uh, boost by gear, all that good stuff on this. A lot of stuff that Megasquirt can't. You need to go to their website and look at the full, the full layout and the full 
uh, options and things like that. Cool. Okay guys, harness is on, starter's on, uh, alternator wiring is on, uh, all these little oil sensors, the oil level sensor that we modified, the uh, coolant temperature sensors that we modified in the last video, or in the video about the harness. All that stuff fit on nicely. I'm not exactly sure which one the Vanos is, so I need to go check my wiring diagram again. I don't have the stuff to do the M50 manifold swap for the S52 quite yet, but I wanted to make an entire different video for that anyway, so that's no big deal. But everything went on pretty painlessly, fit up nicely, and the last thing to do is just this VAMS ECU. I'll show you guys that it plugs right in. Pop that guy off. Ta-da! And that's that. So it already has the base tune on it. Here's the manifold air pressure sensor connected and everything. So all that'll do will sit in the engine bay. These, this line will go to a port that I'll probably put on the back or front of the manifold. And this O2 sensor goes to the exhaust. That is it. It doesn't get any simpler or any better than that, guys. Well, huge shout out again to VEMS. This harness is looking very good. Everything's coming together nicely on the engine side. I was, I was telling Ian when I was doing it, it's so nice having all this clean new stuff going on because I'm not drilling out holes or screwing with things. It's just simple, straightforward, and clean. But uh, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out. So I